y'all doing here on FOMC morning? Y'all so dedicated. I was walking past the studio. I said, who are all those people sitting in my studio? What y'all doing here on FOMC morning? <laughs> What's that, man? I y'all pause for being late. I'm back there. I When I drop my kids off at school, I stopped to fill up my truck. And I have been smelling fuel. I don't know if... I don't... You know what? It might be on the bottom of my shoe. It's on the bottom of my shoes. Because I've been smelling fumes. I've been back there. I've been back there washing my freaking hands. I've been back there washing my freaking hands. Because I've been smelling fuel. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll be right back. It, uh, I got like a headache right now. I got a headache right now. Because I've been smelling fumes. I've been smelling fuel tripping. I've been smelling fuel since I left the gas station. And I I, be, I done washed my hands 19 times. See, now I don't smell it anymore. I'm like, man, I, I'm talking about I got a freaking headache right now because I was smelling fuel and it, it was on the bottom of my Crocs. I guess somebody had spilled some fuel on the ground before I got there and it wasn't wet no more. But it, oh my God. Oh my god, my oh my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. If this is the first time tuning in to Tim's tidbits, please allow me to say welcome. If it's not your first time tuning in, I still want to say welcome, and I want to give you a nice hearty well, thank you for always tuning in, hanging out with me, my homeboy back over my shoulder over here named Spidey, and that beautiful specimen over there in the corner back there. That's my sweetie. That's the love of my life. If you don't know who I am, my name is Timothy Lee Rogers Sr. Right? I get on Al Gore's internet every single day, and I talk about the price action, dealing with the market, the S&P, you know, that thing that goes up and down, and the guys up on Wall Street try to beat to keep their job. That's what I talk about. I share my understanding of Michael J. Huddleston's concepts you know him as ICT. I thought ICT was his initials when I first started following him. But come to find out, ICT just stands for inner circle traders, right? So, but anyway, I share my understanding of these concepts, how I navigate price action, and the hopes to helping someone like you get your aha moment when it comes to trade investments off the stock market. And I want you to do it at virtually no expense to you. I want you to learn the concepts. I want you to internalize what price is trying to do so that you can make educated decisions when it comes to trading, investing. If you want to trade futures, if you want to trade options, if you want to buy shares, if you want to swing trade shares, whatever you want to do in the stock market, I want to help you get that. Ah, that's how it works. I want to help you get that moment right there. I see it. I, 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 do y'all see it too? I, I want to help you get that moment right there. So without further ado, Price did absolutely nothing last night, as I expected. So I didn't even bother coming in here um, throughout the night. I marked my chart last night before going to bed and price did absolutely nothing it did poke above the buy side right and um finished filling in this um five minute sibby above price right but it just skated along that 15 minute breaker right there just skated along that 15 minute bearish breaker is skating along the top of the breaker right now so now the bearish breaker is acting as support right now right well throughout the night it acted as support throughout the night it stayed within that five minute imbalance now price did nothing so since the uh es did nothing we know Spiling did nothing, but we shall still go over to Spiling to see what we have done 
up until now, until this time. And y'all already know, when we go over to see Spileen, if you don't know who Spileen is, bring your attention over to the far side of the screen over there, like way over there. I got my mouse hovering over a ticker that says SPY. The SPY is the ETF that tracks the performance of the S&P 500. Around here, we call it Spy Lane. We wrote a song for You want to hear it? Ooh, prepare to be serenaded. If you know the lyrics, sing it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Sing it with me. Spy Lane, Spy Lane, where you at, baby? Here I go. Hey, how you doing? I'm glad that you came through, Spy Lane. Girl, what you going to do? Are you going to stay where you've been staying or are you going to move where you want to move? What you going to do, Spy Lee? What you going to do? Now, Spy Lizzle has come all the way down to the low of that daily fair value gap. Remember that daily fair value gap we was talking about yesterday? When we said Spy Lee was gapping down and I was like, this rejection right here brings my attention to this daily low right there and not necessarily this daily low right here because we had closed above that high right and then got the rejection afterwards right so i was more concerned with this daily low right there because i was viewing it as more of a rejection of this high and not that high so we came all the way down to this order block. The high of that order block, which is the low of that daily fair value gap. And we rejected it all the way back up to there. All the way back above the open of the entire order block. Right. We came down to the high of the last candle of the order block. And we rejected it and went all the way back up above the open of the entire order block right there and now in pre-market we are slightly above the high and slightly above the low of that candle that i said i was watching for and after the news and throughout the rest of this week and next week we will see if spylene will decide to go ahead and attack this buy side right there which we were leading to all the way from back here came back down and then here we started again and then now will this be the last pullback and phew, before we finally take it out and then once we take it out will we start the selling may and go away Tune in next time to Dragon Ball Z to find out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Price did absolutely nothing last night. As is to be expected. I expect today to be ho-hum until the market knows what the Fed rallies will do. Until they get... The word from Uncle Jerome, I expect the market to be a snooze fest until Uncle Jerome gives the word of what he wants to do. Now, what are some probabilities until then? Right. Can we come up and feel this huge sibby and then move back down to equilibrium before? He does what he has to do at um 2 and 2.30. Yeah, we could. We could. Yeah, but we, ain't in, we ain't in the game of trying to predict what it's going to do. Yeah, we just chill out and wait for the news to drop and then and do what we do. If you want to jump in and, 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 and do some stuff this morning, hey, have at it. But moi, I'm just chilling. Until the news come out. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Speaking of what I'm doing. Man. Yada, yada, yada. All this over. If all you're here for is to talk about the, the levels. Bye, bye. I'm going to start talking about some other stuff now. 
And if you're interested in becoming a funded trader and you choose you want to go with Apex, please use my link. I'm not I'm not sponsored by Apex, but that is an affiliate link. And I would appreciate if you want to get funded by Apex, use it. Shout out to the two people who have signed up to my shout out to the 80 some people who has clicked on my link. Right. It's not really 80 something people. It was 80 something clicks. The 67 unique people, the 67 people who clicked on my link because it said 67 unique links, 87 clicks. And two people actually signed up. I thank you very much for clicking on that link. And I especially thank you for, hey, I decided to go with Apex. I thank you for doing it through my link. Now, I woke up this morning with my mind. You know it was steady on Jesus. I woke up this morning. And sometime the Yahoo um, little emails that the yahoo news emails that come in sometimes the headline catches my attention in the headline that caught my attention today it said that a 21 year old was approached in the gym by another female um because of her top that she was wearing and the lady um due to potential market volatility the day trade rate will be suspended uh that means i just got a notification from one of my platforms um check your platforms and make sure um they are not suspending the day trade rate that usually means um if it's like a, a discount broker they're going to be charging you more a lot of times um ninja trader will charge you double for the day trade rate like just say if you trade in the es and it's normally 500 dollars to per contract margin that you have to have in your account sometimes they'll bump it up to a thousand dollars per contract you have to have in your account um other platforms like my other platform the percentage goes up like trade station you know what I'm saying? it's a certain i don't trade it but i'll just say it's like 12 percent I don't know. I don't trade it. You know what I'm saying? It may go up to like 15% or 18% or 25% or so. You know what I'm saying? It, it's check your platforms to make sure that um, because I got a notification popped in. It looked like it said trade station. I can't remember, but it popped in. Whenever they say that, whenever it's a potentially volatile season, they have the right to change that day trade rate margin. So check with your platform before placing any trades today now back to what i was saying um the lady approached her and was like you think it's okay to be wearing that now mind me i'm a happily married 50 year old man right i believe that anybody not just women anybody can wear what Whatever they want to wear. Whatever, whenever, wherever. I feel like you have the right to do whatever you want to do. But as a happily married 50 year old man, I know that there are men and women that go to all kinds of places for attention. I know this. I know this. And I know how to spot the difference, right? I know how to spot the difference. Just like when I'm in the gym, I do not want to see Brutus Beefcake with his tank top that's cut all the way down to his sternum, tied up in a knot in the back to keep it tight so you can see his man boobs. I do not want to see that in the gym. But I am subjected to it every day. I do not want to see you, Brutus Beefcake. Put on a different tank top. Put on one that has not been cut purposely to show off all your pectorials. I don't want to see that. Because when you sweat, you get that on the seat. And then in Planet Fitness, we have to wipe the seats down. And then when I get on that machine after you, your stench is on that seat. Because you're funky, Brutus. You're stank. 
you're getting your man juice all over the seat because you want to cut your tank top all the way down here so everybody can see your taco meat and your pectorials, right? On the flip side of the coin, Becky BBL comes in there with your cakes hanging out the bottom of your shorts. Now, I have no issue with leggings. Leggings are fine. I have no issue with like spandex shorts, the legging shorts, you know what I'm saying? Whatever material they made out of, I'm not touching them. I'm going to have no problem with those. The ones that, you know, you know, they come like mid, mid to high thigh. I ain't got no problem with those. It's the ones where they look like the, the, the shorts that my wife sleep in. It, it, the ones when she trying to get your attention and you on your phone or you, you watching TV, ain't paying no attention, and she breezed by with that little perfume, and she got on them little sleeping shorts. That they, hold on, I call them the I call them the, the 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 volleyball shorts. You know the ones when they play volleyball, they got them little shorts. When the cakes be hanging at the bottom, the not, not the beach volleyball with the bikini bottoms, but like the regular volleyball when they when they caked up and yammed out, and they hanging at the bottom of the shorts. Them the ones I'm talking about. Them the ones I'm talking about. I have no problem with the tightness of the clothes. Hey, don't be going in there with the floppy stuff on if you don't want it. I don't care if it's tight. As long as you ain't got your cakes hanging out. You know? And the young lady that they approached, the lady approached another lady and was like, you think it's okay to wear that? And all she had on was like a sports top. It was a sports top. Had like a little U shape cut out right here. You can see like you can see no more in this sports top than you can in a regular shirt. It had like a little U shape cut there. You know you can see like the 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 top part of her breast there, but it wasn't cut. You couldn't see like when it gets inappropriate to me is when you can see that little that little piece of meat in between the breast. Like if you can see that little piece of meat right there, that's when it's getting inappropriate. Like long as you can't see that look, like long as you can't, like like long as you can't see, like like you can't put your finger in between the breast like this right here. I ain't got no problem with it. That's when it get inappropriate. When it get when you start seeing a little piece of meat right there, I'm like, okay, we going a little far. But you can't. Miss it was nothing wrong with what the the little white lady had on. Like the other lady must have just been jealous because you know she was like, hey, I'm breastfeeding. And I'm a little bit bigger up there. I guess her boyfriend must have been staring at me and she got mad. I don't know what. I said all that to say. It ain't nobody place to approach nobody else in a gym. I be seeing dudes and females every, well, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. When I go to the gym, I be like, you're doing too much. You're doing too much with what you got on right now. That's what I be thinking in my head. In my 50-year-old head, I be like, man, this dude, if he don't get from around here, because first of all, I can't stand no man walk by me and he look like he's smuggling fruit. Do not be walking past me smuggling fruit. I don't appreciate that. But it ain't my place to walk up to no man and say, hey, look here, bro, you smuggling fruit. Right? I can't stand no man with his chest hanging all out. In the, why you can't just work out in the regular tank? They don't even sell tank tops that look like this. You done cut that tank top up. I see females every day in there with their cakes hanging out the back of their shorts. You know your cakes hanging out. And not only do you know your cakes hanging out, you keep you keep popping them out your crevices, right? And the more you pop it out your crevices, the more people going to look. Because I'm here to tell you, when you, when anybody, if a man reach down and grab and yank people, you, you, I, you're just going to look because you, your eyes are attracted to motion. So when you reach down and pop it out, the more you pop it out, the more, now, okay, now, you just stood up off the bench and you popped it out. I got it. You got to pop it out because it's in the crevice deep, right? Once you've popped it out, why do you pop it out three more times and then rub it four or five times? It's still there. It's still what you ain't got. To, you ain't got to rub it. 
you hit with the rub, you pop, rub, pop, rub, pop, rub. Then you fix your hip, pop, rub more and more time and get in the rip. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. Now, on to the next thing that was on the radio today that caught my attention. This lady, I don't know her name. She was on an interview and they asked her if she would date a bus driver. She said, um, no, maybe if he was the bus owner and he was driving the bus, yes. Now, I'm here to see why is this even news if this woman decides I don't want to date anyone that's bringing a certain thing to the table already after I've worked so hard. I don't want to date and I don't want to date a fixer upper. Right. There's nothing wrong with her choice. Now, not to say that everybody that drives a bus is a fixer upper. Right. But just like. I was telling my wife the other day, I can't remember who it was. I think it was a comedian. And they was talking about the power of the P. The power of the P is so strong that a woman working at 7-Eleven can have a baby with Jay-Z. But a man working at 7-Eleven can don't stand a chance at touching Beyonce because the power of the P is that strong that a millionaire slash billionaire would have a baby. With, it ain't nothing wrong with a cashier at 7-Eleven. But the power of the P where this billionaire where will adjoin himself to this cashier and it won't even be because of love. It's just the power of the P. I get what they were saying. But this billionaire woman is not going to attach herself to a cashier at 7-Eleven. Nothing wrong with the cashier at 7-Eleven. It's just the fact that she wants you to be bringing something to the table on her level. I get it when the lady said that. They turned it into she bashing blue collar workers. They like, well, if you don't want to date blue collar, you're limiting your options. Let her limit her options. Why is it news? Let her limit her options. She can limit her options if she want to. Who cares? Now, her clap back. I would have done the same thing if I was her, but her clap back, she included while she was clapping back at the men that were attacking her, she unintentionally, in my opinion, addressed everybody, right? Because she said, hey, these same guys, pretty much I'm summing it up, these same guys, y'all guys that's attacking me. Because I said I don't want to drive a bus driver. You're the same guys that got C's and D's when you was in school and your parents called you and said, oh, that's OK, as um, long as you're doing your best. Then she was like, but mediocrity is not OK for me. And guess what? Here's the gag. It's not OK for you either. Right. When she said that, when she said we've been conditioned to think mediocrity is OK and that's a form of white supremacy. When she did that, she attacked everybody. So now the people who are happy with their jobs and it's just a, you know what I'm saying? Middle of the road job. Now you are attacking them by clapping back at, you know what I'm saying? Brutus beefcake over here. You're attacking them, right? You clap back, you know what I'm saying? Spread, got some unnecessary casualties involved. But at the end of the day, that's still her choice. So why is this news? Why is this interrupting my entertainment time? Why can't I just ride and listen to the funny, you know, the, 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 the things that the Breakfast Club do? Why are we still talking about this? Let her date who she wants to date. You know, why are people upset because the brat and her wife 
chose a, a white sperm donor because the black sperm donors was ugly. Don't nobody want to have a baby with an ugly person. Even though ugly people make pretty kids. Y'all better, yeah, ugly people make pretty kids. But don't nobody want to make a baby with an ugly person? Why is this? Oh, you're picking, you're picking a white sperm donor. You knew, you knew. Come on, man. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I'm sorry, y'all. I just the market wasn't doing that, and I just been on one all day. Head hurting from the gas. What y'all talking about in the chat, man? What y'all talking about? Good morning, here to learn to share. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Randa Green. What's up, Seawalk? Buenos dias, Valdez. Buenos dias. What's up, Will? What's going on, Linda? What's going on, Mendez? What's up, Lil Hawk? Uh, yes, it is. Elizabeth A. What's up, Elizabeth A? What's up, FC? What's going on, Audrey? Spiley, Spiley. What's up, Hydro Cuzzo? Um, <laughs> box of brief looking shorts. <laughs> Uh, yes, Becky BBL. Becky tried to show off her uh, new BBL. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> what you uh, This has nothing to do with overnight price action. Yeah, we already talked about that. It wasn't that nothing. <laughs> What done price action? What done? We talked about that. This is divergence. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? J A William William Williams Trinity Tobago Sanjay. Hey, heard that too. What's up, everybody? Hey, man. That's it. Uh, market probably won't do much today. Oh, the market already open. The market's open. The market is open. The market is open. If you're going to trade, please trade safe. If you're not going to trade, please take copious notes so you can go back and um, study what you saw today. Uh, Yeah, man, that's it. That's all I got, man. Do anybody have anything? Let's look at the candles tick around a little bit. Let's look at the candles tick around a little bit. See what the candles do. Let's see what the candles do. Let's watch the candles tick around a little bit. We're gonna put them on one minute candles. We're putting them on one minute candles. So, got it on one minute candles, man. These candles are one minute each, man. And we are still. At the top of that order block, man. I mean, that breaker, man. We're still at the top of that bearish breaker, man. And we're um, still inside that um, that five-minute sibby, man. This green line right there, that's the buy side, man, that I was watching last night. That's the buy side, man. We, um, we've just been consolidating. See, that's the buy side from over here, man. Right? We've just been consolidating, right? And we, you know, we we consolidated for a while, man. Where did we open up, man? We opened up over here somewhere. We opened up where's where's six o'clock, man? Here's six o'clock right here. We open up down here, man. We open up these candles, man. Yeah, man. We open up here. Let me double click that, man. Up oh, that too far, man. Come back, man. We open. I can't do one minute, man. The candles are too little, man. I'm gonna do five minute, man. Okay, let's oh there you go. Five minute candles, man. So we open up right over here, man. At six o'clock. We open up right there, man. Right there at uh 413325, man. Then we just consolidated a little bit at the bottom of that bearish breaker, man. Then we got inside the breaker, man. Then we just stayed inside the break for the while, went all the way up to the top of the breaker, man. 
right? We got to the top of the breaker, man. We just came back down into this uh, fair value gap right there, man. Then we hung around the top of the breaker, man. Then we finally took out the buy side, man, right there on that 1 a.m. candle, man. And once we took out that buy side, man, we came back down, came down into this volume and balance right here, man. Then we came back up and we just kind of consolidated right there, man. Then we poked up above that um, Sibby, man, right there on that um, 3 a.m. candle, man. Then we came back down and we poked below that short term low right there, man. Then we pushed back up and we made like an equal high right there, man. Then we came back down and we got below this consolidation over here, man. And we stayed there for a minute. Then we came over here. We poked down below that consolidation one more time, man, on this 540 candle, man. Then we pushed back up and we failed to take out that high, man. Then we came back down into this fair value gap right there, man. We wicked down below it, right? Probably did something on the one minute, man. These five minute candles, man. Then we pushed back up and we came back up and we poked just above that high over there, man. Then we came back down and we like stopped right at this fair value gap man didn't even um poke into it man then we came up then we came down and we finally poked into it man got to the bottom of the city man then we took off and went all the way back up and poked back above this buy side again man then next kind we opened up and poked above the buy side again man then we came down and we got a breaking structure right there man then once we got that breaking structure right there we came all the way down below this sell side right here right up oh, wait a minute we came and went wick for wick with that low over there from 955 man then we pushed back up and we came back up and now we're approaching nope there's not a fair value gap man so we we popped back up we came above this high right here man then we came back down and we got into this fair value gap man and we stopped right there we had a rejection here and now we're rejecting there man so we're just going to kind of hang out right here and see what we do right now we're acting like we're trying to push back up a little bit man because we came down here and we rejected we got a um we ran these lows and we rejected so now we're going to see are we going to head back to this high man are we going to go back to that high, man? Are we going to come up here and we're going to stop, man, and go down? Are we just going to hang around this um, this um, volume imbalance right here, man? This five-minute volume imbalance? See, we keep coming back to it. We pushed up to the volume imbalance, got above that high right there, man, then rejected off, right? We got above that equal high and rejected off, man. So are we going to come back down to this low since we rejected off that high? Or are we still going to take this high right here and take it back up? I mean, this low right here and take it back up that high. Let's see if we lay a candle across this volume and balance, man. Right? Will we lay a candle across this five minutes volume and balance? Because if we lay a candle across this five minute volume and balance, man, and then we create another volume and balance here, man. If we create a volume and balance there, man, that would give us a reason to come back down and touch this volume and balance, man, to um, push up some. Let's see what we do now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you, man. <laughs> Good morning, Trader Mo. Good morning, Trey. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, we inching up, inching up, inching up. Let's mark out this uh five minute uh volume and balance right here that we was looking at there. Let's mark that real quick if I can get a box, right? We're going to mark that out, and then we're going to go down to the one minute and see if we have laid a body. Like on the one minute, on the one minute, we've already laid bodies across it on the one minute. Like we laid a body across it there, laid a body across it there, laid a body across it there. But it's a five-minute volume imbalance. So this is what this is something I learned from ICT. So whenever i got volume imbalances on a level right i'm looking for like if price keeps going back to it like we went back to it there we went back to it there right we've gone back to it here i'm looking for price to lay a body across that like close in this case i want a body to close either right at the high or above the high i don't care where it closes at above there but i'm looking for price to close lay a body across there because right now see how we just keep coming back to it coming back to it right once the price once the body get laid across there on this time frame then you know what i'm saying i just i i won't look at it as like okay we still need to do something in this area right I look at it as okay that area has been done now it can potentially act as support if we get back above it right it can potentially act as resistance if we get back below it right so 
that's what and like right now we got two minutes and 20 seconds left on this candle right and we'll see if we end up laying a body across that on the five minute right that's just something else that i picked up from i see tizzle that i you know keep in my hip pocket keep in my hip pocket hip pocket let's um see what's a going zone with the other the others with the brothers the the dow and the inq and the brothers give me a high five let's go to five minutons on these two so we have divergence the dow is looking weak the dow is looking like it wants to go down to the deep we got to break in market structure to the downside with the mitigation block right there next to a semi. The Dow is looking weak. The Dow is looking weak, right? The NQ, we um got down and got rejection off of that low. The ES is showing strength because the ES took out the low um, over here. No, yeah, they all took out the low then, but the Dow and the ES has taken out this 905 low, and the ES has not. <gasps> Crikey, it's one of those times when we see the ES being the relative strength leader. Crikey, the ES is the relative strength leader over this last few from 905 until 940 the es is the relative strength leader if you look the es has not taken that 905 low crikey the es is the strength leader the dow is looking positively weak positively weak let us see how this plays out the es is still leading we still have Oh, well, you see how we, you see that? We just barely got it. We just barely, it just jumped up there real quick and put that body on there. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, we ain't going to get it. As soon as I was about to say, up, oh, we ain't going to get it. It was like, Burr! it did it super quick. And so now there's a body on that, <laughs> that um volume imbalance. There's a body there. So now I'm looking for this. Now that price is above it. I'm looking for this to act as support. If it can't support price, like we have a volume balance here, I'm looking for it to attack this volume balance, but I want this volume balance to support price. Like, see how we just wick down to that volume balance and we stopped right there, right? That was a good bullish sign for it to stop there and then turn back around right? Because this one is still acting as support. Now that we've gotten back to the top of that Sibby, right? That Sibby can present a problem. It can, because it's the high of the Sibby that we've been contained in. But this stopping at this high right here, that was bullish and but like I say, the top of that Sibby can present a problem. But I want to see this act as support now that we, you know, got that body laid across there. And now price can potentially continue to come back at this one. But, you know, in the meantime, I want this. I want this to stay open because I want this. I want, I keep saying this, this right here, make him make him green is my fault we go make him green right so want that one to stay open and i want this one to support price right but like i say see the top of that fair value gap the top of that city well like it can create problems why because we've been there all day that's been containing price all night right this Sibby has been containing price all night, right? But again, as long as this supports price, right? He done did his job. He done did his job. 
And this is what I want to see left open. Like that coming there, stopping just like er, right there. Yes, that was a good sign for pushing up. Doesn't mean you're going to keep going. Nah. Right? Because this Sibby has been a beast all night. But this may be the time. This may be the time. You've tried it once, twice. Fee times are made it. You done tried it a few times. You tried it at 3 o'clock. You tried it at 3.15. You tried it at 7.30. You tried it at 7.35. Woohoo, 7.40, you made it out. But then at 7.45, you got sucked back in. Then at 8.15, you made it out. Then at 8.20, you got sucked back in. You tried it again at 8.25. You tried it again at 8.30. And now here we go again. Will this be the time? As long as this supports price, there is hope. There is hope on the horizon. As long as this bearish volume imbalance supports price like we wanted it to. As long as we keep this rejection off of this bullish volume imbalance. Because when we started moving, it left a volume imbalance because this act like it was in a hurry. And now. It's doing his job well. It's trying to do his job well. Right? We got another swing. We got another swing high right here. We got to be careful of. Because we're watching this one. But there's a swing high right there. We got to be careful of. Got to be careful of that swing high right there, people. There's one right there in the midst. Be careful. We're going to put him as an internal. Be careful. It's, a, it's one nil. It's one nil before we get to our target. We got to watch it. We got to watch him. And here we go. We're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, did his cousin. Did his cousin. Consequent. Did Consequent come out? Consequent came out. Consequent came out and sucker punched us. Consequent came out and sucker punched us. Will Consequent stay? Will Consequent stand in our way? Consequent came out and sucker, sucker punched us. But we said, we got a thing for you, Consequent. Move, Consequent. Consequent, get on my way, get on my, my way. You and your little cousin by side. Oh, by side, say don't, by side, say don't play with me, boy. Don't play with me. They say get it. Consequent, get, consequent, you done. By little by side, you in trouble. Oh, little by side, you in trouble. You in little trouble, little by side. I'm coming for big by side. I'm coming for big by side. Oh, little by side, say not yet. Get, get out, get, I'm coming for you. I'm coming, little by side, you in trouble. You in trouble, little by side. I'm coming, okay, okay, give, give me big, big, give me big by side. I said, give me big by side. That's what I said. I said, give me big by side. Will you punch him one more time? Will you punch big by side one more time? One more time, do you got it in you? Do you got it in you? Do you got it? Oh, you ain't got it in you. You ain't got it in you. You ain't got it in you. Big by side, say, get off me. Big side by side, say, get off me. Do you got it in you? To, do you Do you got it again? You give him one move. Can you give him one move? Can you give him one move? Big by side holding strong. Big by side holding strong. You already hit him. You you took him. You took him, but you ain't take him out. You got him on his heels. You got him on his heels. Can you, can you take him out? Can you give him one more? Good day in your goal. Get out of here, big by side. Get out of here, big by side. Now, let's walk through what we just talked about in a very entertaining way. Let's talk about it with some sense now. So starting out, we were here. We had a volume imbalance right there on this between this 920 and this 925 count. We had a volume imbalance, right? Price went up and rejected off of this um these equal highs right here, right? Went up, rejected off these equal highs, right? Now, these equal highs um were not the the um destination of this move the destination of this move was um the high that sent us here so the high that sent us here was this high right but the draw i'm sorry the draw on this move was the high that sent us here this high right here right and so with that in mind this rejection off of this equal highs is not to be interpreted as we're going back down right <clears throat> Now, we come back down, right, and we 
come back down and we can't get back to consequent encroachment of this right here and we reject that's bullish remember whenever you can't whenever you struggle or can't get back to consequent encroachment that either is exceedingly bullish or bearish right so we come back to the, the um, volume balance again and reject off of it right so now we're looking to lay a body across the volume imbalance right to let you know that hey we're pretty much done with this area right once it lays that body across it's pretty much done with that area right you can remove it off the chart if you want to but you you know i, I leave it there because i want to mentally i want to visually be able to see where i'm expecting support or resistance right on this 940 candle as we were going to approaching the volume imbalance the bearish volume imbalance we created a bullish volume volume imbalance and as you saw, as we were doing it, I was like, hey, if we do create this volume imbalance, right, that's going to be a good thing once we lay a body across here, right? And just at the last second when I was like, eh, we're not going to lay, as soon as I was about to say it, you y'all saw how price immediately just jumped up there, closed and opened up right there to lay that body across that, right? And then we immediately wicked down and kiss this volume imbalance, this bullish volume imbalance. And I said, that's a good thing, right? That's showing bullishness because I was like, now I want to see this stay open and this support price. Why? Because we've laid the body across there. Our our draw on liquidity is here at 41, 49.50. So you want to see the um discount pd arrays support price right and you want to see it blow through the premium pd arrays so you want to blow through this and you want this to support price once you blow through this you want to blow through this high and you want this to support price once you blow through that you want to blow through this consequent encroachment and you want this Sibby to support price. Once you blow through this buy side, you want to see this consequent encroachment support price. Once you blow through that buy side, you want to see this buy side support price. You want to see this breaker support price. Now, when you come back down into this breaker, you want to see this breaker support price. You know what I'm saying? As you keep going up, going up, going up. Now, we've gotten all the way up to another um imbalance. Right. And we just left this area right here, took off from this area here. So now you want to see this entire area act as a balanced price range. You want this breaker in this fair value gap right here at this consequent encroachment to keep price up. You don't want to see price start to slip back down past this consequent encroachment because this consequent encroachment, this buy side liquidity is all tied to this breaker right here, this five minute breaker right there for anybody who cannot see breakers right there there's your five minute breaker right there bullish breaker right there there's your five minute bullish breaker right there and that ladies and gentlemen is how little timmy rogers watch candles print that is something that myself cannot teach you the only thing that will teach you that is sitting here watching the candles print and learning how they react to different PDRAs learning what's the draw on liquidity right once you learn what the draw on liquidity is then you have to build the bridges speaking of building bridges it ICT did a video a while back, right? I thought it was a fantabulous video. And he was talking about um building bridges. Right? God dog it, they always do that. Right? This was a fantabulous video. Um I can't remember what he didn't change this thing up now. It used to have like a um I think it was in the 2023 mentorship. I think it was in the 2023 mentorship. 
Why did it? I didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. I think it was in the 2023 mentorship. Uh, deep learning. It used to be a picture. Like all these thumbnails look different now. It used to be a picture of um, deep learning, deep learning. No, 2022. I think it might have been a 2022 mentorship. Yeah, I think it was the 2022 mentorship. No, it wasn't. Right there. I be um bridge builder. Bridge builder. Which uh this video right here, ICT concepts overview, bridge builder. This video right here is freaking fantabulous. It's um do they tell you which playlist is in? Let me tell you what playlist is in. Do I tell you what playlist is in? Anyway, this video right here is fantabulous, right? And the reason why I say it's fantabulous is because this video right here is what like totally changed my mindset when it came to ICT concepts. This video right here totally changed my mindset when it came to ICT concepts, right? And why do I say that? Because it is what really set, cemented in my mind figure out like once you figure out where price is going use the tools use the tools to build the pieces of the bridge to get you there right you know just like what we for example what we just did this morning right we said price excuse me y'all we take all this stuff off the screen right we said price came here right price came here and rejected so now where is price going to go we said price is going there now first of all right you have to understand you have to understand the concepts to figure out how did we even come to that conclusion right once you understand the concepts and figure out how did we even come to that conclusion right you're you're on the right path now so now that you know this okay boom i understand it i got the draw right speaking of draw speaking of draw if you do not like when i draw you are welcome to leave now Cause I'm gonna draw. Yes, I am. I'm gonna draw. Yes, I am. I'm gonna draw. Because my mama said I could draw if I wanted to. So I'm gonna draw. Because my mama said I could draw if I wanted to. And I'm gonna draw. Yes, I'm gonna draw. Do 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 do. I'm gonna draw. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna draw. Now. 
now because you said hey Christ came here right we just want to make it a teachable moment for everybody if you know this if you don't know this hey hey now we're doing it for the people that's not as far along in their journey and we're doing it for you in the back you lazy bum come on this is your chance lazy bum other people who's really trying hard and you still haven't got it. I'm not talking to you. Please don't take offense. I'm talking. Yes, I'm talking to you, you lazy bam. I'm not talking to you if you're not if you're not there yet and you're really trying and it's just not clicking. I'm not talking to you. I see your efforts. I see you trying. That's why I get on here every day to help you get your aha moment. Yes, I'm gonna help you too, you lazy bum. Come on. Now, when price comes down. And takes out sell side liquidity, right? It takes out sell side liquidity, right? Right here, we come down here, and then we get a let's see, right here. See, right here, how we reject it off of it, right? Don't get excited about that, right? Don't get excited about this one right here, right? Why not get excited about this? Hey, we're going to make it interactive, too. For 35 people that's still here, we're going to make it interactive, too. So put in the chat why you think I say give you a little clue. I'm going to give you a little clue. Don't get excited about that rejection. Why do you think I say don't get excited about that rejection? Why do you think I say don't get excited about that rejection right there? Because we did go below the sell side. Right, we did go below the sell side and we did get a rejection. But why do you say think I say don't get excited about that rejection right there? Come on, somebody got scared and left. I said it's gonna be interactive, and somebody left. It went from 35 to 34, but I don't care. All I need is one, it would just be me and one other person, and I will be sitting here running my mouth about this. Because I'm not planning on trading this morning. I'm waiting on you to put in the chat why you... There are no wrong answers. Come on, man. Why do you... Man, let me open up YouTube to see if y'all typing and I just don't see it yet. No. I see the same thing on YouTube. I see the same thing on YouTube. That's it. Nobody's nobody's typing. Nobody's going to answer. Nobody wants to e even try. Let me click my like. Because the bodies of the candles doesn't close below. Because of the green candle next to an equal body. Because it's a stop hunt. Um, let me think about that. What you said, because the bodies of the candles didn't close below. No, no, not that because we're looking at this as a rejection, right? We're looking, I'm sorry. We're looking at this as a rejection, right? I'm looking at the screen. Like y'all can see me. We're looking at this. We're look <laughs> let me figure out where I'm looking. <laughs> okay. We're looking at this candle right here as a rejection, right? So, if we're 
if we're if we're wanting to see a rejection, right? We want to see conviction in that rejection, right? And I said I'm giving you a clue because if you look here, right? If you look at these next three candles, rejection above to and it created a swing high. Um no, not so much it created a swing high, right? Not no, I give you that. I give you that, right? I give you that. Because like this is your clue, and you you I'm glad you pointed that out because everybody sees stuff different ways, right? That swing high, I wasn't paying the swing high any attention, right? But when you create a swing high, right, or a swing low, a lot of times, most time, there's going to be some type of follow through, right? Because remember, remember when I used to make the swing high like the rip in the rip, right? It'd be some kind of follow through when you create that swing high, swing low, majority of the times. So, yes, that swing high is a very good observation and that swing high is in the same vein as what i'm looking at right very good the swing high right the swing high and what i'm looking at is the lack of conviction in these next few candles right here these are five minute candles the lack of conviction after this rejection is why I said we don't get excited about that rejection. Now, let's look at, where's my eraser? Get out of here. Let's look at, come on, eraser, erase faster. Now, let's compare this rejection to this rejection, right? Look at the conviction on this rejection and then the conviction on this rejection right all right see what i'm saying this this is the rejection that bing 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 that's when you and hey well i'm frozen over here oh is that live oh, oh it ended i've been on here oh i've been on here over an hour displacement very good very good displacement right displacement is the term right i said the lack of conviction right so this right here doesn't have displacement this right here does right very good power moves displacement right so now that We've gotten a um, rejection off of running sell side liquidity coupled with displacement. Now, once you get a liquidity run coupled with displacement, right, your attention is taken to the opposite end of the price leg, right? That's your draw on liquidity. Now that you've taken liquidity, right? Taken sales side liquidity, right? With rejection. That's a G. Rejection and displacement. That is a P. Y'all know I'm, I'm running out of room. Displacement, right? Now, new draw, right? What's the new draw? The op spell opposite. Is that right? I don't know. I don't have my phone. All 
opposite end of price leg, right? So when you take out the liquidity, right? You take out the liquidity, get a rejection coupled with displacement, right? So this is the rejection. This is the displacement, right? That takes the draw to the opposite end of the price leg. If you take out a low with rejection and displacement, you look to the high that brought you there, right? This is the high that brought you there, right? Now, I know you're saying, Tim, it's a swing high right there. I know this is a swing high right there, but that swing high was made after we took out this low. You want to see that swing high get taken out because that is the next step, right? Along with and after the displacement, you want there to be, in this case, a bullish breaking market structure, right? After the displacement, you want there to be a bullish breaking market structure. Personally, I want it to be on the at least the five minute time frame. That's my personal desire for the breaking market structure to be at least on the five minute time frame. Right. So now that we've got those pieces together, let's get a new screenshot, shall we? Oh, I did it wrong. Okay. So now, that's the draw, right? Now, we got our bullish breaking market structure, right? Right? Now, we got our bullish breaking market structure, right? <clears throat> so, got our draw, got our bullish breaking market structure, right? Now, we see we have an imbalance right here, right? We got an imbalance right there, right? These five-minute candles. So um, now, what are we looking for now that we got this bullish breaking market structure, right? Where is price? When we get the bullish breaking market structure, right, where is price? in reference to this imbalance right here, right? So once we get the bullish breaking market structure, where is price in reference to this imbalance right here? And what do we want that imbalance to do, All right? Put it in the chat. Where is price in reference to um, this breaking market? I mean, where is after we get this bullish breaking market structure, where is price in reference to this imbalance this busy right here. And what do we want price? Uh, what do we want that busy to do? All right. Where is price in reference to that busy? And what do we want that busy to do? Put it in the chat above and we want it to support. Premium. Very good. It is in the it is it, above. So it's in a premium price is in a premium. In reference to that busy um above and support higher and support very good right let me i, I got the key i got to remember to pop them on the screen right premium it is in a premium that's on you only get half credit for that above and we wanted to support very good higher and we wanted to support what's up tasha josh you better make them eat cake baby now see tasha Y'all give it up for this beautiful woman right here. Tasha be in the gym going ham. And Tasha be dressed very gym appropriate. She have on her leggings. She have on her sports bra. She be going. She, she, she dressed very gym appropriate. And she be going hard. She looked fantabulous doing it. 
But I can't help it if you a creep and you like lurking at women. She got the right to wear what she want to wear, but she's not go- she ain't she ain't giving you cakes. She ain't giving you nips. She ain't giving you nip. She ain't giving you cakes. Stop being a creepy creeper. Shout out Tasha, man. Tasha be going hard in the gym, man. Tasha be going hard in the gym. They be in there sweating too. I hope y'all got deodorant. <laughs> All right. Higher ed support. Right. So let's get back to the lesson. Uh <laughs> okay, so we um we wanted to support price now. We come in and we look in here and we see we came back down into the busy, right? We poked below it a little bit. Then the body closed inside the busy. It's still supporting price. Remember, the wicks do the damage. The bodies tell the story, right? We can chalk this wick without having to drop down to the one minute. We could just chalk it up and say, hey, this is doing something on the one minute chart, on the two minute chart. Or anything lower than the five, because we're watching the five. Who cares what that wick is doing on the lower time frame? Eh, let it go. The body's telling the story. This is your time frame. Watch the story of your time frame, right? So again, we come here and we wick below it, right? But then we notice also, where do we go to on the top side? On the top side, right? There he is. A, a um volume imbalance right here, right? It's kind of hard for me to. Let's, let me know why. Right, you got a volume imbalance right there, right? And we had some equal highs right here. All right? So where do we wick up to? Where's my mouse? There you go. We wicked up to, we went through a volume imbalance and got up above some equal highs and we rejected off. Right? We rejected off these equal highs right there. Now, once we rejected off this equal high right here, right, what is the last line of defense for the bullishness to this draw, right? Now that we've, we, when we went up and rejected off these equal highs, right, and we rejected all the way back down, what is the last line of defense? for the bullishness of continuing this draw over here. What's the last line of defense? Let's see. Tasha was the student with the camera on every morning. <laughs> Tasha, Tasha to be up there. Tasha had the whole, Tasha had the, uh, the what's name? Had the camera up there. She'd be sitting there. The camera still be on. Tasha be sitting there. Had a headset on. She had a headset on working. Dude. <laughs> ah, ah. Let me see what I say. Uh, <laughs> what does it? That was set up for my focus, otherwise. <laughs> hey, we said, see what order block. Uh, no, not no. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Based off, based off what we're doing here, like everything that we got, uh, 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 uh everything that we got over here. Right, we we looking at this over here, this this price leg right here, right. This the, we on this price leg right there because we um we wanting this price leg to get up to there. So on this price leg right there, what's the last line of defense 
for this bullishness continue after we got this rejection here. So once we get the rejection there, we want this price leg, right? We want this price leg to continue up, right? So when we pull back into this busy, when we pull back into this busy, oh, oh, I got something in my eye, right? We want price to continue up here. So once we got this rejection off the, we hit the busy. Oh, I got something in my eye, right? Yes, Tasha, the fair value gap. Here to learn and share. I'm sorry. The fair value gap. Yes, the fair value gap. Yes. And then to be more precise, the bottom of the fair value gap. Tasha coming through with the hard hitting facts, right? That's the last line of defense right there. Once we get this rejection right here, right? Once we get that rejection off of that high right there, how we went back down for this bullishness to continue, we need this busy right here to do his freaking job. Busy, do your freaking job, right? That's what we're thinking while we watching price print, right? Especially if we got in the trade right here on this busy, right? When price rejects off of here, we're saying, busy, do your freaking job, right? So now, what else are we watching? We're watching this. This is when we came in, right? We came in on this candle right here, right? This is the candle we came in on, right? So now we're caught up to speed on everything that you would be thinking prior to when we start watching the charts, right? Well, Tim, how did you know that when we jumped in on this candle right here? Because when you understand all the concepts, Sometimes you can quickly look at the charts and say, hey, okay, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Okay, we need to do this. That just comes with watching it print, right? So now, as we reject it here, so now we push back up again and we're watching this volume imbalance, right? We want to see price lay a body across this volume imbalance to let us know, hey, I'm done with that area right there right now and then once we get done with that area what do we say we want that to support price right meaning we want price to stay above right right we're looking for we're looking for this volume imbalance to support price Right. We're looking for that volume imbalance to support price, which means, right, price has, I don't know what I'm writing, to be above the volume imbalance. Right. So we're looking for price to lay a body over this volume imbalance and remain above right why do we want that because our draw is over here and if you're if if the draw that's a p if the draw is bullish right Discount PD arrays discount PDAs need to support price, right? If the draw on liquidity is bullish, discount PD rays need to support price, right? Now, in this case, when I say discount PD arrays, I'm talking about any PD array that's below price. Any PD array that's below price is a discount PD array in the sense that I'm using discount PD array. 
I'm not talking in the spectrum of the dealing range premium and discount. I'm talking about any PD array that's below price if the draw is bullish. And if the draw is bearish, any premium PD array has to resist price. Right? Right? Um, the gap is still supporting. We want bullish PD arrays to support. We want bullish PD arrays to support. We want bearish PD arrays to support. Any, any PD array that's below price, We so if you got a bearish fair value gap, and it's below price, we want that to act as an inversion fair value gap and support price. If you got a bullish fair value gap below price, we want that to act as a fair value gap, a bullish fair value gap and support price. So any PD array below price, you want it to support. If it's a, if it's a bearish fair value gap, we want it to be an inversion fair value gap. If it's a bearish um, breaker, we want it to act as a bullish breaker. We just want it to support price, right? Want it to support price. I don't know if he called them inversion breakers. I know he called them inversion fair value gaps. I don't know if he called them inversion breakers, but in my mind, I call it inversion breakers too because he put the inversion um, in front of it. Now, if he come out later calling it inversion breakers, he got that from me. <laughs> I'm just jokes. I'm just jokes. I'll play it, right? So now, right? And, in the midst of wanting um, this to lay a body cross there, we noticed that we were potentially creating a bullish volume imbalance because this candle, this candle right here was still printing when, and I was like, hey, we may create a um, bullish um volume and balance right and then we would want a body laid across there and we would want this to support price right right and then turns out that we did create that volume and balance right and as you all saw as soon as get out of my way get out of my way let's move over a little bit now and as you saw as soon as we come here okay All right Right. As you all saw, as soon as we this candle was about to close, I was like, we only got like two seconds left. We know up. as soon as I was like, we not going as soon as it closed, it immediately popped up there, closed at the high of the volume balance, opened up the next candle at the um high of the volume balance, wick down, kissed the lower volume balance, and then went back up. Right, we teeter tottered around here in a little bit, but the whole time I kept saying it's okay to come back down toward this, but I want this to act as support, right? And why do we want it to act as support? Because when the draw, if the draw is bullish, we want discount PD arrays to support price, right? And the draw is bullish right now. Okay, so now, so we start to get the pump. The pump starts coming in, right? The pump starts coming in. It's looking good for this right here. And then when we hit here, we start pulling back. And then we notice, oh, no, first we said we talked about the high of the, the, the SIBI. We're not going to get into all that. But then we was like, okay, watch this high, right? This high can present a problem. This high can present a problem, right? 
but we started rejecting here and then we check we said wait a minute let's see if his cousin guess Quinn encroachment then made a sneak appearance and then we came over here and we found out that we had stopped right at his cousin cuz Quinn encroachment house right and then we quickly right we want if price if the draw bullish if the draw is bullish premium pre pre that's better right premium pdas um needs to get this re Respected. Need to be disrespected. Just slap, slapped around. Right? So we was like, hey, consequent encroachment. Move punk. <laughs> Move punk. <laughs> slap consequent encroachment. Right? We slap consequent encroachment. Right? Then this buy side. Right then, that's when we was like, "Hey, the little buy side trying to act like a formidable foe." Right, right. We got here. Well, you can't tell on this right here, but sum it all up. It kept disrespecting everybody, and it finally pushed through to the draw on liquidity. Right, it finally pushed through to the draw on liquidity. Now. Hopefully y'all was able to understand what I was saying about um, like once you understand what the draw is, right? What you want to see out of the different PD arrays, right? And so if, for a quick summary, we came down, got rejection off of running sell side coupled with distribution, came back into the imbalance. The imbalance supported price, right? Once the imbalance supported the price, then we started looking for um, now that this is a premium PDA rate right now. Right. So we go through it, come back, go through it, come back, go through it, lay a body across it. Now we've defeated that premium PDA rate. Now we want that to act as support. This is a discount PDA rate. We want that to act as support. Right. It's acting as support. We move up. Right. We need this high to act as support no problem we blew through that right now we facing this mit this um consequent encroachment we need to blow through that price is moving now don't stall out here price is moving we need to be going right boom blast through we hit this high right here price is moving now don't start stalling out let's go right that's why i was like hey move punk move yeah, that's why i was saying because price need to be it need to be going now you know what I'm saying? Because we 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 distributing. We we pay out. We getting the pay out. We need to go right, and then boop, finally got it. And like they say in Canada, Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Hey Amen. I hope somebody got something out of this. Hope it was helpful for somebody. The people that's, you know, trying to get there with your journey hopefully it was helpful to you hopefully you took notes like tasha Tasha said she took notes um hit learn shed was uh said it was very good it was really good i see it on youtube over there before i see it here there it is All right said it was really good hopefully you took notes um hopefully someone was able to get an aha moment today um shout out the lazy bumps Hopefully you um hopefully you got something out of it, you bam. Um yeah, man. That's all I got. Like I say, we didn't have much going on with the overnight price action. It wasn't in the cards for me to trade today because I didn't want to trade. So I just want to offer something um for the masses. Uh, I, I never want anybody to accuse me of like locking stuff behind a paywall i really appreciate everybody who support the channel in a financial way with the channel memberships i always um i always tell y'all it's not necessary but i just 
you know, I put it out there as a way for you to like reciprocate, for you to, you know what I'm saying, show your appreciation. Shout out Trenisha, man. Trenisha always coming through with the hard hitting super chats. I noticed right at the end of the um the live yesterday, Trenisha has shot a super chat. Trenisha always pulling up with the hard hitting super chats. I appreciate you. And pretty much that's what the channel membership is for. If uh if you wanna if you wanna join the channel membership just to support the channel financially, I do share stuff um in the membership section. Uh I ain't gonna hold you. I share a lot more stuff in the black spiders membership section because you know what I'm saying it's a tier model. So you know what I'm saying? If you you know what I'm saying, if you pay in $7.99. You know what I'm saying? I, I give a little bit more than if you pay in um three ninety nine. It's like because it's like I give more of my time. I give more of my the insight. I give more of the you know. But it ain't you don't have to do it because I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna continue to do what I do every day. It's just a way of you know, like my wife says, don't block your blessing. If people want to help, if people want to give, give them an opportunity. Say so you know what you're right. Yes. It's some channel memberships. There's a link in the description, Tosh. It's a link in the description. That it's the YouTube channel membership. They be busting me. The YouTube take 50%, 30%. They take, they take 50% of the super chats and they take 30% of the channel memberships. Busting you in the head. So if 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 enough people sign up for me to get a hundred dollars, uh Enough people sign up for me to get a hundred dollars. YouTube gonna get 30. And then I got to pay taxes on a hundred. <laughs> uh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome to everybody. What's they what you say, Ty? I mean, Taryn. I love this space. Good information. I can get a good laugh. Love. <laughs> Y'all, hey, y'all be in here with the footage. Did that what y'all be in here with, man? I, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I've been on here for a long time. Uh, I need to keep hydrating so I can get ready to go to the gym and work out. I think I might cut my tank top and pull it all the way down. <laughs> you say you're working all the time, man. You sound like my sweetie. My sweetie love her job now, nah, boy. You can't tell her nothing. She love her job now. Nah. A couple months ago, boy, she was ready to, she was ready to burn that place down. <laughs> the bourgeois man doesn't gatekeep the information. He shares it as his blessing continue to flow. <laughs> show that, show that taco meat. That taco meat. That boy got plenty of taco meat now. But now my little brother, boy, that boy, that Joe the carpet. That boy got taco. He got hair on his back. He got hair on his chest. That boy look like Joe the carpet. <laughs> uh, hey, man, that's it. That's it, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I really enjoyed um, um, breaking that down today man i'm glad i stayed on i'm glad i uh start being silly and started talking through the price because i was like hey let's just let's just walk through this real quick i'm glad i was able to do that 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 turned into something very valuable that turned into something very valuable and i hope y'all got something out of it man i'm uh oh let me close this out i was about to just i was about to just set that to the side Oh, wait a minute. No, that's, oh, I need that over there. That's my actual trading view. <laughs> I need, uh, where them screenshots? Oh, there they go. Okay. All right. All right. Now I can set that to the side. And for those who don't know, this is what I be drawing on, on my tablet right here. My, uh, Wacom tablet. I got a Wacom tablet. And got a little got a little pen right here a little penny pen pen is what i be driving I'll be using my little whack'em tablet whack'em i got the whack'em tablet because i um i used to do like graphics and photos and stuff and people claim that it's better to use the whack'em tablet than using the mouse i could never get used to using the whack'em tablet because i had i had another one 
it was another one I had. What did I do with it? It didn't have the screen on it. I don't know what I did with it now. It didn't have a screen on it. It was all. Uh, there it is. Yes. This Wacom tablet right here. Right. It didn't have a screen on it. So it's like I had to. I can't get it out. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, I can't take that pen out. I had to like you you write on it right but there's no screen and so i got to look it's like i'm right i'm doing like this like you know what i'm saying that's weird like i can't look at the screen over here and you know what i'm saying i need to look at my hand you know what i'm saying like when you write when you talk to write you look down at your hand so this one wasn't working right so i went and bought this one with the screen on it you know what i'm saying since this has a screen now i can look at i can look at my hand and write you know what I'm saying? So I know that ain't got nothing to do with the price of tea in China, but y'all know when I get to run in my mouth, I can't help it. <laughs> uh, that was great. I came on just in time. You're very welcome. Tell my dog Snoopy, I said, <laughs> I appreciate it. That was really good. Thank you again for taking us along on your journey. And I was sharing. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. And with that, we are going to call it. And I will see you all at 6.30. Wait a minute, what's the day? Oh, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow, Christopher got a, um, a concert tomorrow evening. So we, pro we ain't going to be doing that tomorrow evening because Christopher got a concert. But tomorrow in the um oh man we supposed to be doing the uh options thing tomorrow we supposed to be doing the options thing tomorrow depending on what time is concert get over because tomorrow thursday i said we was going to do the options thing tomorrow depending on what time is concert get over tomorrow we'll see we may have to do the options thing friday Yeah, we may have to do the option staying Friday. But we would do it whenever God says the same. <laughs> hey, man, I'll see y'all tonight at 630, man. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'm gone.